Hey there folks, this is GreenXI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is episode 17, and what we're going to be doing today is heading towards Death Mountain, where temple number 2 will be. Because, as we saw earlier, the grey skies, the fire above Death Mountain. Yeah, this is important. But before we do that, I want to go for something a little bit more light-hearted, sort of. Remember when we were little, there was a building being built by the carpenters? Well, now, we can actually see what's in the building. It's a bow and arrow place! <laughs> Mini game place. We got full rupees, so it's a good time to get a few shots in. Do you want to play? Yep, we do. Perfect score is all that's going to count. Oh, yeah, that was a good start. Seriously, they came before you even noticed they were starting. Bollocks. It's definitely harder than Slingshot 1. But, I mean... It's just because... All the rupees are sort of more mixed up. Yeah, it's that way. It's not the same pattern. Okay, we missed two, so he's gonna give us a free go. <gasps> nope. Oh, I'm so. I don't think there's even a pattern to it, is there? Or is this in last time? I don't know. No. Ooh. And a green one. Yeah, we did it! And our reward? Yeah, bigger quiver. Just like with a slingshot, now we've got a bigger quiver. 40 hours instead of 30, and it gets filled up just especially for us. That's all done. <laughs> I thought it was going to be there for ages, and um, I'd have to cut it up for you guys, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not only are there a couple of Hyrule, um, people from Hyrule Town here, uh, trying to escape from the hustle and bustle of the zombie life. <laughs> There's also a new potion shop up here and the bazaar shop for there, so both from Hyrule Town. Should we have a look what's in there for a sec? See if it's changed at all, that's all. Dirty seeds, bombs, no, nothing. You can get a new shield if you really need to. You can lose a Hylian shield, but only if you go out on the field map and you see a certain type of spinning enemy. They're, they're set in place and they're pretty easy to avoid, you know. I'm not going to bother going loot. We might accidentally come into them, but... Ooh, new boulders. <laughs> it's going to be a bit different coming up here. I'll say that. Not much different. But... Hello, you. You don't look like a Goron. Oh. It's not a Goron, that's why. Oh, strange. How peculiar. Okay, we planted a magic bean earlier on where we were little Link. Young Link. Prepubescent Link. <laughs> so we're going to use it now. See where it takes us. Here we go. Hotkeys. Collected three now. We've got one more to get before we get another hot container. I want to use this magic bean again because it's going to take us where we need to go. It's a shortcut as well, not just a uh, uh, thingy like that. Thingy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So now we're up at the top of Death Mountain once again. Not the top completely, but you know what I'm talking about. You do. I hope you do. Go on, city. Let's get the bombs out because we're going to be needing them. Here we, go, folks. Here we go. This is tough. I always find this very tough. In order to go for the next temple, we need a. Uh... Oh shit. We need a new tunic. We need a new top instead of this green one. And I'm always bad at timing this, so I'm probably going to have to cut. Be prepared, folks. Be prepared. I can't see. I can see the thingy going the way. Come on, come on, come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. No! Why did the bomb take so long to explode? It took five hours. Literally, five hours, that's how long it took. Right, where's it going now? Okay. Hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on! Hit it! Hit it, the little shit! <sighs> Hit this part. Got him! Ah, yes. 
You can actually buy this red tunic if you want to, for I think it's 200 rupees in the shop down below, in the Goron City shop. But, yeah, no, it's... I am Link, hero of the Gorons. No, you are not Link, you little plagiarizer. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Link. We did, we killed the Dodongo earlier. My dad is Darunia, do you remember him? Oh, he's the mayor or elder's son. Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please, give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. Oh, a dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Oh. You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he'll calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? About the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Vavagia, Volvagia, living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Oh god. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! Destroyed it, just like that. This is a myth from long ago. It's true. I know, because my dad's a descendant of the hero. Boo-hoo! Okay, we'll try and calm him down again. But the Gorons this time. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them were beaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple, all by himself, to try to save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Hint, hint. You gotta go on tunic. Won't fit as a kid. Go to a hot place? No worry. Okay, so the shop is open. I thought, oh, we couldn't have got it with the in the shop then. I was wrong. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're gonna put it on. It's gonna be a nice change for everything. Red. The green one's always my favourite, but red is nice. I quite like the red one as well. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. It's just the... <laughs> God, what's in here? Ah, oh. oh, I think it's where the giant go on is big go on. Oh well, whatever. Let's um I wanna show you something first. We're gonna learn a new song. Because I think it might be a good idea. So I will see you in a sec, folks, when we're near the top of the volcano. Okay guys, that was a big mistake. Don't bother climbing death mountain all the way to the top. You can't actually do anything way I was thinking we could go. No, we can't. So, let's just carry on then. We'll learn the song after the dungeon apparently then, probably. Which is very strange to me. Why would you want to come back after you've been in the dungeon? Maybe to get gold stock or something, but I don't know. It's a really point. Anyways, let me push. Let, let me push. No? Um. Ah, oh, okay, we have to grab it from the front. And pull! Pull Link like your life depends on it! Young Link couldn't have done that. Oh no. Oh, now we're in the creator. From a different area. That makes sense, actually. It makes complete sense. I thought you went straight into the temple from the day, but apparently not. Now we need to figure out where to go. This way? Do you think it's this way? We'll give it a go. Yeah! Cutscene thingy to learn our song. This is a good one too. I quite like the song we're learning now. It's a teleportation song once again to get us back here whenever we need to. It's something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it you'll know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Belero of Fire. Down. Down. A. Down. A. Right down. Right down.
Wir drin, the labor of fire. Link. I'll see you again. Sure. We'll see you plenty of times yet. Get all chic. You manly womanly manly woman you. <laughs> so this way. So it's time to start the dungeon itself. And it's not too bad actually. It's about the same as the forest temple in terms of difficulty. Harder boss. I've always found it's a harder boss. But even still, it's not too bad. Here we go! We've made it to the Fire Temple! So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when we make a, uh, make a start on Temple number 2. Didn't take long together either, did it? That's pretty good going. See you in a bit, folks!